In this video, we will see how to add multiple playlists and schedule them in advance so that they deploy at the right time without your intervention. In the same video, we will use the TVE of future in PySignage with which we will automate the display power on and off times. We will learn about the scheduling by implementing a practical use case. For simplicity, we take a restaurant menu display signage as use case. The restaurant has a standard menu for breakfast, lunch and dinner. The breakfast menu will be available between 7 am and 11 am. Lunch menu between 11 am and 3 pm and the dinner menu between 6 pm and 9 pm. The restaurant is closed between 3 pm and 6 pm during which the display is not required. Again, the display is not required after 9 pm to 7 am that is after the close of restaurant to next day morning opening when again breakfast menu should start. For simplicity, we assume that the restaurant has same menu all the 7 days of the week. Once you know the usage of scheduling feature, you can implement any specific use cases with intricate scheduling. Now let us start the implementation. First, log into your PySignage account. First, before scheduling, we need to have playlists for breakfast, lunch and dinner ready. In my playlist section, you can see playlists named breakfast menu PL, lunch menu PL and dinner menu PL. So we are set. Check out the link in the description below if you want to know in detail about creating playlists. Now let us go to the group in which the playlist has to be scheduled. I want to schedule playlist for the group called menu display players. You can see all the players that are part of this group by clicking on show players button. All these players will display the playlist scheduled in this group. In this group you can see there is only one player called menu player 1. There can be any number of players based on your need. Now let's look at our required scheduling. We need three different playlists to be displayed at different times of the day and rest of the time screen has to be switched off. So let us start scheduling by choosing the default playlist for the group. As name suggests, the default playlist will be displayed whenever there are no other playlists scheduled. We can only add additional playlists after adding a default playlist. Here we will put TV of playlist as a default playlist. This is a built-in playlist in PySignage which switches the screen off when deployed. Link to the detailed article on TV of playlist is given in the description below. By putting TV of playlist as default, we have ensured that our screen will be turned off whenever there are no other playlists scheduled. In this use case, we will ignore the deploy options below as we don't need them. We will explore them in a different video though most of them are self-explanatory. Next, click on schedule additional playlist button. Here from the drop down, select relevant playlist. First, we will select breakfast menu playlist we have created. That is breakfast menu PL. Click on the schedule icon. A pop-up page opens. Here you have three levels of scheduling. The first one is duration. Here if you click, you can see that the playlist display can be limited between two date ranges. This feature is useful when, for example, say you want to schedule a playlist to promote your Christmas special offers and hence limit it for the month of December. In such cases, you can use this range. But here we do not need it, so let us skip. Next option is days, either day of the week or particular dates. We want the breakfast menu playlist displayed on all days of the week, so let us do check all. Same selection can be done with dates. The default value is check all. Let us leave it as it is as we do not want to exclude any dates. You can do a very specific combination of days and dates for display using this scheduling feature. We give you the option so that you have tools for any scenario. Next, the important step of selecting time. Our breakfast time is between 7 am and 11 am. So we need this playlist running during this time. So let us select those times. Save the setup. So if we deploy this setup right now, between 7 am and 11 am, every day of the week, breakfast menu PL playlist will be displayed. And after 11 am, since no playlist is scheduled, default playlist will be deployed. In our case, default being TV of playlist. Note that scheduled additional playlist always takes precedence over a default playlist. Now back to our setup. Now we will add and schedule the remaining playlist that is lunch and dinner playlist. Click on schedule additional playlist. Choose your lunch menu playlist from the drop down menu. Now click on the schedule icon on the right. A pop up page opens. Again to implement our use case, leave the schedule duration as it is because we do not want to limit the display between two particular dates. Leave the selected days as it is as we want this display on all days. Select all in the case of dates as well. Coming to time, lunch menu is in between 11 am and 3 pm. Enter the same. Save the playlist. Just be a bit careful about ams and pms 
as wrong entries can disrupt the display. Follow the same steps again to add a new playlist for dinner. The scheduled time is between 6 pm and 9 pm. Save the playlist. You can notice the gap in scheduled time between lunch and dinner playlist. This gap will be filled with default playlist, in our case TV off. Hence we need not schedule separate TV off playlist during this time. Now we are ready with three different playlists scheduled between 7 am and 11 am, 11 am and 3 pm and 6 pm and 9 pm. Rest of the time that is every day from 9 pm to next day 7 am and from 3 pm to 6 pm screen will be off. Our required schedule setup is ready to be deployed. For any queries reach us at info at